Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this is a PR package that has come to me from fgnormal.com. Uh, I have worked with them before and I've had some wonderful products from them. So yeah, they asked me if I would like some more products to show my channel and I said mm, yes of course. Um, I do like their products. So let's see what we've got. Okay. Oh, let's get the big one out first. So this is, oh, 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 another one's coming out with it. Okay, so that's quite a biggish package, that one. Ooh. We've got, oh, a little tray. Okay, you know, I like my gadgets and tools and things. I always like to check what's around. And, oh, 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 a special drill project. Right, so three lovely items to look at. Let's see what we've got. So I got this lovely little tray and um, I've seen these around um, and it was purple so I just had to get it and I thought oh, I'll give those a go because as you know I do like my special drills um, and sometimes particularly if I'm working on say a set of keychains or something like that and I've got two main colours that I'm wanting then uh, I thought this would be quite handy to work on two colours. Uh, it does have little slip down sides so you can pour out um, and I just thought yeah I'm going to give that a go actually it's quite a nice pliable plastic as well rather than the rigid one so yeah you've just got a little bit of giving it um, I am very clumsy so I do sort of like think about wonder if it'll break if I drop it <laughs> unfortunately this is quite nice and bendable so hopefully it won't that just uh, clips in there to close and then opens up that way and um, I think eventually depending on how well you treat it they may um, break off after so many uses or after an awful lot of uses let's put it that way but it's still a very usable tray even if it did uh, oh it looks like they'll clip together as well can you see there just uh, get focused in you've got a little uh, sort of indent or a little ridge sort of going in there and then you've got your little like rounded side here so I would think that that will fit into there so if you've got another tray you could fit them all side by side oh now that's a good idea I'd not realized that about these so they will actually fit so you could have a full set of trays and actually with them being the two and when they're all fixed together um unless you tip your table and they go everywhere which yeah i don't even want to think about that <laughs> they would be quite secure they've got quite nice high sides on this as well um yeah let's just get some drills and have a look so what have we got i've got some white ones and oh i've got some black ones there as well so let's just try and see I do like new little uh, gadgets and things and new little things and I do like to try them and uh, hopefully if I try them then oops that black one's just slipped over there look he wants to go in with the white party and he can stay in the black party oh we've already got a gold look that joined the black party there goodness me you always get one wants to jump out and go somewhere else right so we've got oh, quite a few in there so, oh yeah, if you, as long as you don't put too many in, um, they're going quite straight and they are both actually lining up at the same time. So that's quite good. Let me get that gold one out, it's just going to annoy me. Come on, I know you've made your way into there, but you're not staying there. You don't belong in the black colour, look. You're not a black gem, you're a gold gem. Oh, I can't get it out. I'll have to get a, a pen to get it out. There, it's gone. <laughs> So, okay, so, yeah, you would have to work with a smaller amount. But again, as I say, if you're working with specials or if you've got a smaller painting, then you will be working with smaller amounts of drills. Mm, so let's see how they pour back out. I'll pour them into another tray rather than pouring them straight into the bags. And let's have a look, give it a chance. So, I mean, I suppose you're not going to have that many left over. Oh, it's lined all the black ones up. Look, can you? see this so uh, yeah a little bit uh, more faffy than just tipping them all out roughly <laughs> you're gonna have to think about what you're doing um before tipping them out uh, maybe a little brush or something would be better oh look there's some stuck there as well okay so yeah they've poured out into 
there without tipping ah now then when i've closed that two have jumped over there so that's something to watch out for but that's not too bad at all and this tray was 99 pence would you believe wow um that's one of the big white trays just to give you an idea of the size and that's one of the little oops <laughs> got drops today one of the little moss for boats there just to give you a size on that as well so it's a similar size not quite as wide as a moss for boat but a similar sort of size so yeah you still get plenty in there so and then you just open that one and obviously they will then just tip that way so yeah you just need to be a little bit more careful when you've got one in each side but it does work so actually i'm looking at these and i don't know whether they are i think they look green do they look green to you maybe it's my eyesight oh <laughs> i'm so busy looking at them i've just managed to tip them all over the table <laughs> oh dear take two <laughs> anyway i'll um hmm, very strange i wonder why they're no they must be black must just be the lighting in here or my eyesight not quite sure anyway so back to the tray so this tray it works uh, and for 99 pence i think it's really good and i mean you could get a set of five so you've got 10 colors that you can work with as like a, a palette on your desk or whatever um and then i suppose you'd have to be careful if they are they have all got drills on when you're clipping them together and clipping them apart but uh, yeah it's just a case of being careful so yeah like that and i love the fact that it's purple they do come in different colors as well so pop along to uh, fg normal's website and have a look there are quite a few special offers on as well at fg normal at the moment so pop along and have a look there as well there's all sorts of uh, black friday and cyber monday things going on but they're sort of finishing so there's new offers and everything coming along as well for that so see what offers are for your country and everything uh, and just go and see what there is there but there's usually some really good deals okay let me have a look at the smaller one first i'm desperately wanting to open that one but i'm going to look at the smaller one first <laughs> we are at the end of november beginning of december but i ordered these because i still do like my gnomes it's uh, mindy's fault mindy's diamond moment on youtube um yeah she got me onto gnomes i was oh, i don't like gnomes i'm not gonna have any gnomes and then i started getting one and then i got another one and yeah i've got them all over now <laughs> so we've got our standard toolkit pen boat wax and a few little grip seal bags and let's have a look at these gnomes okay they are well actually they're not what are they classed as it's 10 piece Christmas diamond keychain kit, special shaped drill, uh, at Christmas gnome gifts. Okay, so we've got 10. Uh, it looks like we've got uh, cord to put on them um, rather than chains, but you could either use some spare chains that you've got, um, or actually you could use these as Christmas decorations because they are all Christmassy gnomes, I do believe. And they're all special drill. So yeah. And the price of these is only £4.99, so you've got 10 so they're working out at like 50 pence each. So if you're wanting them for like uh, Christmas fairs or to sell or as little, little gifts for people um, or uh, teachers' gifts or gifts for your children to give the friends, then these are going to be really good. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's have a look through these gnomes. So the first one is a real cool dude look. He's got a Christmas tree sunglasses on there and he's holding a little bell. And his sunglasses look have got a red nose on for Rudolph and a little red moustache. <laughs> so he's got his Christmas hat on and then he's got some glasses on. That's brilliant. I love that one. Okay, I quite like some of those glasses myself. Uh, then we've got a little bit more... Um, a subtle gnome shall we say he's a blue gnome and he's got uh, a little snowflake which is very pretty okay they're all made of like of like a thin acrylic they're a bit like what can i describe them as you know if you laminate something they're a bit like they've been laminated so they are just single-sided which for 4.99 for 10 i'm not surprised uh you know they're they're a good uh, 
little budget friendly way of doing some keychains of doing 10 keychains brilliant so yep nice and sticky underneath there and yeah, just peel it off put your drills on and away you go but yeah he's cute okay oh we've got one standing to attention there uh, he looks like a sergeant major doesn't he with his sergeant major mustache and he's got his stick there okay and then he's got, he's holding little christmas lights look across his uh, beard at the front and then he's got like a plaid hat on a red and uh, black plaid hat oh that's wonderful okay and then we've got oh look <laughs> this one's got a pixie hat on so he's got pixie ears on his hat look and again he's got his red moustache and he's holding a merry christmas sign oh these are fab oh the, you could definitely have to be honest i think rather than using them as key rings i think these are going to go on my christmas tree um i tend to have two christmas trees i have one at the moment that has uh, all my glass toys on it because i collect christmas tree glass ornaments and toys um and then i have one that has like all my scotties on but last year i started putting um all like uh diamond painted sort of key rings and all things like that that i've done as well so i think these will just go on there uh, that one's uh, got a nice pointed hat and he's got two christmas baubles that he's holding okay and then oh that one's got a, a little christmas tree look and the stars stuck up his nose <laughs> and he's got little snowflakes on his hat okay oh <laughs> i could just get better this one's got antlers look he's got uh, his hat on with christmas antlers and a big star and then he's got a little gingerbread man that he's holding so that's fab as well okay and then oh this, one, <laughs> this one's got antlers as well oh wow that's brilliant and he's got a little present so he's bringing you a present with his uh, antlers hat there okay and then oh this one's uh, like an orange i think it'll be an orange and black a uh, little plaid hat that he's got and he's got a lantern that he's holding so he'll have to go in front because he's got the light wherever they're going and then oh wow this one's got a real jazzy hat look all zigzag stripes and he's got two candy canes oh he looks like he's coming out for a fight he's doing a bit of uh, ninja warrior there i think with his crossed over candy canes ready to get you <laughs> Can you imagine actually bonk somebody over the head with one of those and they'll all break and then there'll be a, a scrum to get all the bits. <laughs> Maybe just my house then. <laughs> okay, so I think they're fab. I love those. Let me give them a quick measure. What did I do with my tape measure? I think they're all more or less the same size, but aren't they sweet? I love those, I really do. Okay, so they are. Uh, oh, I'll go from the tip of his beard. About mm, just under nine centimetres, so about three and a half ish inches. And I go on his shoes, about two inches, which is five centimetres wide. So, yeah, they're a nice little size, just a little keychain size. But as I say, I do think, particularly with having this lovely gold cord, uh, that I am going to just use these as Christmas tree decorations. And again, to get 10 for uh, five pounds is really good value. So, yeah, much impressed. Let's have a look at the drills. Oh, let me measure the tray as well while I've got my tip, which I've just put down and can't find. <laughs> so the tray uh, is 16 centimetres, which is about six and a quarter inches that way, by about five and a half centimetres, two and a quarter-ish uh, inches. So, yeah, it's a good size. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Right, back to the drills. Oh, I do like my sparkly drills. Looks like they're all the gems as well, all sparkly and special. So, what do we have here? I'm dropping everything today. I don't know what's going on. Right, let's have a look then. There is a lot of different colours with this. Where do we go up to then? So that's 14, 15, 16 different gems and colours. Wow, okay. So we've got some lovely clear crystals, sparkly, 
two different coloured reds. So you've got your uh, deep red and your cherry red. A very pale pink. And a sort of a bronzy gold there. And a lovely yellowy gold. And then we've got a lovely tree green there, very Christmassy. And then that's like a, a greeny blue colour. Love that colour. Very pretty. And then that's like a sea blue. Sorry, it's a little bit of a glare. It's very dark here again today. I'm having to uh, turn the lights on all the time at the moment. It's not good for filming. And I seem to find if I put my light on and I've got my light table lamp thing, selfie light or whatever they call them, then I just end up with a ring on everything. So I've got to get that right. I'll have to watch some YouTube videos on lighting for YouTube. <laughs> Any tips? Gratefully received. Uh, we've got a lovely orangey amber colour and then it's a darkish browny bronze, a little bit of a standard black and then a very fresh light green and a little bit more orange. Okay, gosh, I can't believe how many colours there are in this. It's wonderful. And then we have two specials, which I think are going to go on the little hats as like the little bells or the little baubles on their hats. Uh, not all of them have got them. We've got uh, a couple that haven't. So we've got like a purpley, bronzy colour there. And then we've got a lovely red as well. So very Christmassy. Oh, are these fun? Uh, just great fun. Love them. Right, where did the drills go? Were the drills in this one? Yeah, I've not folded them up right. Okay, so let's just fold those back into there. And then, oops, I can't pick them up off the desk just to put my little gnomes back over there for now. So, oh, great, I love those. I love anything that just makes you smile, makes you laugh. Great fun. Right, let's have a look at the baby. Okay, see what this is. Ooh, ooh, it's one of my favourites. It's all special drill. Oh, nice icy colours there, all blues and very light purples. So we've got a basic toolkit, pen boat wax, and we've got a little bit of cord for hanging it. And yes, it has got just two little holes. I think you can maybe just see that one there. It's just got a little hole there and a little hole there for hanging. And it is one of the wreaths. Oh, look at that. Wow. I think out of everything I do, it's like special drill projects, wreaths have got to be my favourite. I've got so many of them. It's like I collect them. You know, like some people collect plates and put them around the house. Well, I think I collect wreaths. <laughs> so this one's an acrylic. And I think the drills... Yeah, the numbers are on the bottom. They're printed onto the bottom of the um, wreath. So it's one of those where you're going to have to look from above to put your drills directly above. Otherwise, if you look at them from a side, when you then stand it up, they won't quite be um, over the uh, guide circles, the numbers. So that's just one to watch out for. Yeah, I do prefer it if they are printed on the top. But uh, yeah, it's just a case of knowing and working with it and knowing that you do have to look down over the top of it to get your drills in the right place on these. So yeah, I won't be doing this one on my knee. I'll have to actually sit at a table um, or sit at my little like side table that I have uh, and sit and look directly over. But that is so pretty. It's got all like little house frosty scenes all the way around it. And then baubles on the wreath with the ribbons. And then we've just got this gorgeous little Christmas scene. With, there's some children there, look, um, making a snowman. And we've got a couple of watching them there. Looks like, I don't know whether they're ice skating, possibly. Um, oh, I think we've got a little Santa over there. We've got our lovely little church in the background, all decorated. And then all our fair trees, all the trees, all in the distance as well. So that is really pretty. Oh, I do love my wreaths and Christmas wreaths. Wow. Mind you, I've got a lot of sort of everyday ones as well um, that I have up. I've got a very old fashioned sideboard that uh, hubby's granddad, no, great granddad made. 
think it was his great granddad made years and years ago um that's sort of been passed down the family so i put them as like instead of plates i put wreaths above it it's got like a shaped mirror so i put like wreaths above it um and it just looks quite effective okay so the size of this is roughly 10 inches which is about 25 centimeters that way and then it will just be slightly longer because of the ribbons hanging so yeah it's 12 inches 30 centimeters because you've got your ribbons hanging that way but very very pretty okay yeah and you've got your cord to hang it or you could because they don't really show up um these little holes uh, when you hang them you could just use command strips on the back obviously just be careful uh, when you're peeling them off and make sure that it doesn't take any of the backing off because that, that is the picture as well if you're sticking sticky things onto it right let's have a look at these drills okay oh Sparkly they are. So it just has six different colours. They're all your standard uh, little crystals, but look how clear and sparkly they are. Wow. Oh, I love the uh, clear ones. Wonderful. And then we've got like this quite muted purpley, a little bit sort of grapey colour. And then like a palmer violet colour there and a dark green and a lovely frosty blue and then just a very pale yellowy gold lemony gold color so yeah there's not many colors on this at all but it's gonna be quite effective i think once it's done I do uh, like it. your colors are just going to be mainly in the middle here so we're just going to be sort of blues and silvers very very palish colours i have actually got some other things that are similar to this colour so normally my christmas is red gold and green very traditional but uh, i have got a few that are like blues um and more of the sort of cooler tones so maybe i'll do like a little corner um with those pictures and then put my red green and gold ones at the other side or something uh so yeah I've got a lot of decorating to do and I've got a lot of diamond painting to do as well. <laughs> oh, let's pop those away. Okay, so we've got a lovely useful little tray that will clip and you can make a set of those. Uh, and yeah, we had a go and it did work. We've got these fantastic funny little gnomes that are absolutely wonderful. Uh, yeah, just, uh, oh, I don't know which one's my favourite now. I think it's got to be this one. I just love the glasses, although the reindeer antlers do make me laugh as well. But this one just sort of jumps out at me with those glasses and the moustache and the little nose. It's just really, really funny. <laughs> And then we've got our gorgeous, like, classical Christmassy wreath there with all those lovely, cool colours that will sparkle for Christmas. Lots of snow. Okay, well, a huge thank you to uh, FG Normal for sending me these. And I've just got ready to do as well. Uh, this is the Christmas tree, special drill Christmas tree that I got from FG Normal uh, back in September that uh, I'd got to put away for Christmas, ready to do. So I'm going to have a go at doing this one as well because I've got a nice little space uh, on my Christmas set uh, wall to get this one put up. So, yeah. I will be getting this one done as well. So it is still available on the website, or it was when I was having a look today, this morning. So pop across and go and have a look. And I'll put the links down below for all these items as well. But as I say, thank you, FG Normal. These are fab. I love them. Uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Any comments or questions, as always, in the comments down below. And if you would like to come back and see what I get up to next and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come out. So you won't miss anything. Yay! OK, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.